to send a postcard, you must have a favorites list or a marketing list created. Once you do that, you, you do not have to skip trace. The cool thing about um, our postcard feature is it doesn't require one to skip trace. So once you have your list in your favorites folder or your marketing list, uh, you can skip over the skip tracing and go into campaigns. Now, the first thing we want you to do is start a new campaign by selecting new campaign at the top, naming this campaign, followed by selecting a targeted list. Now, one thing to note is that you'll be just able to select any list that you have in your My Properties. So the one thing that you need to note is that um, some of your lists will not have contact information like the phone number or email, like any of your favorite lists, any of your marketing lists. When you're creating a favorite list, essentially saving a specific property or a marketing list, searching a market and saving a bunch of properties, none of the records that you're saving have the contact information. That's why we have the skip tracing included. So if you choose a favorite list or a marketing list, you're gonna only be able to send postcards. If you wanna send postcards, voicemails, and emails, you're gonna to wanna to keep scrolling down to the very bottom and select from your skip tracing jobs. This is a list with the address, the phone number, and the email. Okay. So if I just wanted to send a postcard, I would just choose a marketing list or a skip trace list, but then just decide to send postcards. So we first want you to name it and then target your recipients, followed by hitting save. Once you've established your new campaign, you should see it on the left-hand side with all your other campaigns. The first thing to note is that the name of the campaign will be at the top, the date in which you created it, and to the right, you'll get a free website specifically for just this campaign. So think about it as this website is designed to catch the attention of these 75 homeowners. So first thing I'll do is set up the website. And from there, we just need to create a website name. So for example, website name right now has random numbers, which match the very back of this example website here. So what we can do is change that to build credibility, like Greg buys houses, everything goes through. That is now an active and an available URL that we can utilize. Now on this website, you create your audience, your leads will be able to fill out their name, phone number, email, and a message. Now, if they do that, this is the email in which we're gonna send the notification to their information to. Below that, you'll have the ability to check this off and save your website template so you can use it again in the future or leave it unchecked and we will not store anything for you. And finally, you can start with a blank website or start with a predefined website. Now our predefined website just gives you this one background here. If you don't like it, you can click on that banner image and remove it and apply your own. But this is the, the uh, website editor. Banner image, a logo, up to five pictures can be added header text, which is located here on the right-hand side. This is designed to capture their attention. So if you're, let's say, uh, marketing to a list of auction properties, and this mention right here, this header should talk about, you know, how you can help them with their auction. So banner image, logo, up to five pictures, the header text, the body text, which is located over here. This is again, to help you build credibility. This website will have whatever name you assigned it, any images that you've assigned, a specific message for that audience, and a little bit of a bigger in, in enforcement message right down below. Now, once you have your banner image, so let's just throw up a few things here, like a picture of me, a logo, maybe it's a picture of uh, me as the logo, maybe five pictures, your choice there, header, body text. You can hit preview at the top right to see what this would look like before anybody else gets it. You can save and come back to it if you're not yet done, or you can hit publish and your website is now an active website, meaning this is a live website. If you click on it now, it is a live website. And from there you can hit back and you're back to the dashboard campaign.